If mukbang is eating massive amounts of food, then maybe buying tons of gems should be called gem bang. And this series is just getting started. Hey there, thank you so much for stopping by the channel today to check out another episode of Clash of Clans Fix That Incredibly Rushed Town Hall 12. I appreciate you coming by, fellow fans of Clash of Clans. I know you thought I wasn't going to say it, right? But anyway, okay, so we're back at it. Yes, we have the new gold pass for May. We are working on unlocking the Archer Queen's Gladiator skin on this account, and we're getting there. We've got 720 challenge points. Please, please, can we have a name for this green liquid i mean it's a liquid it's filling up this little river in between uh, I, don't, I give up see it, there's even a droplet on the left it should be there should be a name other than points it's like the elixir of season challenge i don't know i give up tell me in the comments i'll give you a prize if you if you can name it okay so yes it is time to switch over as we're trying to catch this base up we're switching i've got an empty stone slab whatever okay so we're switching over to Barch! I thought it would be fun to try Barch. It is such a ch incredibly cheap army to train. It trains up so fast, and although you can't get into the core of a base, really, with a straight ring around the rosy Barch attack, you can pick up massive resources around the outer couple of layers of buildings on even a pretty well-defended, well-designed Town Hall 12 if the player is not going to be collecting their storages we are going to collect it for them so yes it was fun it was an interesting change of pace i am also looking towards using other armies in the immediate future i'm thinking hog riders miners would be a couple of fun ones but right there even though we did lose 25 trophies over a million in loot and uh no okay fine wait it's not a million in loot. Whatever. You math people out there, fine. Over 900,000 in loot. Are you happy now? Here's over a million. Here's over a million available and over 5,000 Dark Elixir from another Town Hall 12. And again, dropping in the barbs, dropping in the archers, 100 or so of each, and uh, just kind of hoping that we can get through and get most of it. Again, sometimes I'll drop the heroes where it looks like there's a concentration of resources that I might be able to pick up whether it be mines drills or pumps but for the most part we just sit back and watch the resources pour in I gotta tell you there's something fun to watch that top right corner and just watch the numbers fly now this is a more mindless attack than your average lunion or any other type of farming you're going to be doing especially if you're bringing heals you're trying to predict where the miners are going where the hog riders are going or if you're going to use lava hounds and watch out for the air defenses. So, hey, you need an easy way to, you know, watch Netflix and play Clash of Clans. Here you go. You barch until you drop and uh, you pretty much come out on top almost every single time. So there's another 900 or so in resources. And of course, again, we are losing trophies on many of these attacks. So sometimes barching at the higher leagues like where we are right now isn't going to work out in the long run. I am in Master 1, I believe, in this episode. So, yeah, it's going to be tougher bases like this that oftentimes we won't get 50% or the Town Hall down. But, you know, it doesn't always matter. What we are sacrificing in League Bonus, we are more than making up for in overall loot gained. And what I mean by that is your LPH, your loot per hour. Of course, you know that term. So your loot per hour is going to increase if you're doing more attacks per minute, APM. Remember, higher APM means higher LPH. And if you're ATF, then you're RFF, right? Armies train faster, then your resources fill faster. Anyway, all right, so... Uh, let's not overcomplicate it. It is a relatively boring attack strategy. It's not that exciting, but you know, it's always exciting to pick up loot. To pick up big numbers is a lot of fun to watch us fill the gold elixir and of course the dark elixir up as uh, we're trying to unrush this account. But let's remember, I don't have years to do this. And honestly, playing an hour or two a day, farming an hour or two a day would probably take years without the use of any gems or without the use of the gold pass it's just you know it's like if you guys remember the first episode when i talked to klaus from klaus gaming who did the fix that rush series on his town hall 10 those 
defenses are easy right now. They're not that difficult to upgrade at level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But once we get up to, you know, Town Hall 9, 10, 11 defense levels, then things are going to be ridiculous. You know, you're talking about spending most of an entire storage capacity on one defense. And I have a feeling that if, if you think you've seen gems spent or money spent on this base, you ain't seen nothing yet. And I avoid incorrect English. I'm just telling you, it's going to have to get crazy down the road because there's no other way. We are in a race against the clock right now, people. We have to max this account out before Town Hall 13 drops. That is going to be a tall order because honestly, we don't know when Town Hall 13 is going to release. I still get asked that question pretty much every day in every stream somebody asks me about town hall 13 and let's remember a couple of things first of all clan war leagues they are continuing and the world championship will not be over until probably the end of october of this year so there is 0.00 percent chance we will see town hall 13 before then so we have at least what five six months to go before there's any risk that Town Hall 13 could drop. And I say risk, some players I've noticed are dreading it. They're like, I'm not ready. I don't need more stuff to think about upgrading. And other players are like, come on, they're chomping at the bit. They want to see Town Hall 13 tomorrow. They can't see it soon enough. And you know, no doubt that Supercell is balancing it out and they've got the sweet spot planned. And if I had to put money on it, I would give it between like January and March of next year, of 2020, uh, if I had to bet, if I were a betting man, and I am, uh, but if Las Vegas took gambling bets on uh, the over-under for Clash of Clans Town Hall 13, I'd say the over-under is probably around like Valentine's Day of next year, right about mid-February. That would be the over-under. I mean, it's going to be a huge undertaking. Let's not underestimate what's going to happen at Town Hall 13. There is going to be a massive amount of stuff released. I am looking for a new signature defense for Town Hall 13 besides the Town Hall. Now, if you remember the episode that I did, the interview with Darian, he basically indicated that it's likely that we will see a new signature defense, not just a bigger, better Giga Tesla on the Town Hall or something other, a Giga other something, a Giga Ferno like I talked about. I predict, based upon what Darian told me in that interview, I predict we'll see levels 6 through 10 of the Giga Tesla at Town Hall 13 and, and we'll see some sort of new defense. And here is my prediction for this defense. It will be unlike anything you've ever seen. It, it will work differently. It won't just be one building. Okay, so mark my words. This is my prediction. The Town Hall 13 Signature Defense will not just be one building. It'll be more complicated than that. And uh, we'll see if I'm correct. All right, so you can see here that as we go through the rewards, we unfortunately have a lot of these items that we can't collect because we already have many of them in our storage in the Town Hall. So rather than selling them for gems right now, my hope is that we will free up some of that storage space by the end of this season because we'll be using some of those books as we upgrade stuff and we'll try to plan it out so we don't lose those. Now, wait a minute, what the heck? Where did my gems go? How do I have nine gems left? This is ridiculous. All right, so unfortunately, I don't know where, I honestly don't know where my gems went. Where did my, where did my gems go? I have... All right, well, here, oh, here they are. Here, the, they were in this chest right here. That's what it was. They were in that chest. Okay, so we've got another chest of gems. Add it to the running total. We'll get to that status report in just a moment. But, all right, now, here's the problem with having this many gems. And that is that they kind of, have you heard the phrase, burn a hole in your pocket? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're kind of burning a hole in my pocket. So, it is time to mass upgrade the defenses as I generally have been doing. Now, obviously this is something we're, we're gonna have to stop soon. Like I said a few minutes ago, we'll get to a point where one of these defenses is going to use up almost all of a storage space in the elixir or the gold. Well, not elixir obviously, but in a gold storage, you know, it's gonna use up all of my gold. So that's pretty much everything upgraded another level for now. And um, oh, speaking of gold, 
You know, we need to upgrade this elixir storage. Before we start using runes, we need to max out. Now, I was just short. I didn't quite have enough gold to upgrade that last elixir storage to max. So we went out, we grabbed one more quick barch raid, no spells, just the Archer Queen, and here we go. So now we've got 3 million gold. We can afford to upgrade this elixir storage for 2.7. And okay, we'll spend the gems. What? RIP like 4K gems already this episode. Holy, all right. So yeah, so we did that. We've got that last storage upgraded. We have been using some wall rings and trying to get walls upgraded a little bit. I think maybe next episode we'll do a mass wall upgrade because I'm just getting sick and tired of looking at these plain concrete walls. It's like being in a prison, a rushed base that's a prison. All right, let's get on to the status report. It is time to take a look at how much we have spent total. It is now $336.81, a little bit of an ouch right there. And then now total time spent on the base farming and upgrading. We are at 11 hours and 45 minutes. So starting to get the time invested as well. So next goals, I would like to do another mass upgrade to the defenses, get another level in all of them. And I want to see more packages in the shop. I, those packages are a great value, so I'm waiting for more of those to show up for the next episode. As always, thank you guys for watching all the way to the blizzle first of this episode. You guys are the true hashtag Galafam. I appreciate every last one of you, and that includes you who think I'm not thinking of you. So get out there, make the best of the rest of your day, be kind to people, animals, and the planet, and I hope to see you all back here again tomorrow for more Full Attacks. Gallidon, that includes me, right? Gallidon. Gallidon.